Hey, how you doing? Uh, it's Aaron Snoswell here again. Just wanted to post another video in response to this one that I posted uh, about two weeks ago, a bit more. Um, so, I posted this video um, showing off a interactive Canvas prototyping tool that I started work on after seeing Brett Victor's talk. And there was a lot of interest in it, actually. I was really surprised by how many people watched the video and all the comments, and everyone seemed very excited about it. So, I'm happy to say that, as I said, promised, the code is now on GitHub. Um, so if you go to my GitHub page, which is github.com forward slash Aaron Snoswell, and go forward slash recanvas, uh, it's just an interim name until we come up with something better. Um, but yeah, so the code's all up there. I've created a readme with um, a list of features, version 0.1 at the moment, it's still very alpha-ish. And then I've done a big list of issues or potential improvements that we could do um, to the app at the moment. Um, now there is also a live version of the app running on my website, which is elucidatedbinary.com forward slash recanvas. That's E-L-U-C-I-D-A-T-E-D binary.com forward slash recanvas. So this is the app as it is at the moment. Um, haven't added too much since the last video. As you can see, there's now a preset drop down over here. Um, so there's a bunch of basic presets, a few procedural textures, and then an interactive example there as well. So you can see here we've got some nice dots, uh, basic checkerboard pattern. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I can't actually remember the name of this texture. If you know it, please let me know. Please let me know in the comments. A um, bunch of other ones there. Check them out. Now I've also got this interactive example here from last time. So you've got all those sort of functionality as well. Now here's something new. Um, I've added a global utils object, you can see I'm using it here, um, in global scope, which contains a bunch of utilities for working with procedural images. Um, and if you see, I do utils dot, utils dot, and then press control space, we've now got auto completion um, on objects like that. So for example, you can see I've got a pixel object here that contains a few methods for dealing with pixels and blending colors and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Brett Victor in his video also showed off a feature where he could hold down a key then click and drag on a number and that would change the number in real time uh, as he dragged uh, and likewise he had a color picker and things like that. I haven't quite added that yet but what I do have is see here if I click on a number like the 500 here where I've clicked and then press control O and control P that will increment or decrement that number um, relative to how large the number is. The only problem is it doesn't work very well for negative numbers, as you can see there. Um, it's a work in progress, though. Um, the, there's an export button now, export PNG, which is nice. And also the code pad will now remember any changes you make when you refresh the page. Um, so if I refresh that, you can see when you come back, it's still got those changes that I made using local storage, so it's per browser. Um, so, I'm really hoping people get interested in this, or if you are interested in this, I'm really hoping by all means fork it, um, add some functionality to it, and I'll be happy to merge those changes back in. Um, like I said, I've got a bunch of issues there, things that need improvements. Um, for example, we need a better name for it. Read Canvas is just something that I can work with for now. Someone suggested mother effing interactive canvas.com. Uh, if you've got suggestions, let me know on GitHub or in the comments. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff there that you could improve on the app. <laughs> so check it out. Uh, thanks for all the views on the previous video. Uh, leave any comments in the comments or on GitHub. And thanks. Bye.